Welcome back to Once Upon a Tiny Farm. My name's Drew, and in today's video, I'm gonna do a quick video about seeding lettuce, starting it in trays, and how I found is the best way to do that and get the best germination, especially in hot weather like we have right now. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how we do that. So why don't we go somewhere only So here is a 200 cell tray that I just filled. And I didn't film this, but before I put my seeds in this tray, I have pre-moistened it. I just watered it really nice. I like, I found that it's a lot nicer and you get better germination when the soil is wet in these trays and it allows the seed to stick and make better contact in, in the soil in the cells and you get better germination. So that's what I've done. I am planting my, this is a pelleted seed. That's why they look um, like they do. Normal lettuce seeds are very small and they will stick to you if you're sweating and it's humid. These are a lot easier to seed and um, they cost a little bit more, but it makes it a lot easier to seed in trays like this. So here is my process on how I seed these I just drop one in each cell. I'm not going to show you the whole tray because that would be really boring. I'm just going to show you one row. And then after I plant them, put them there, I will push it down into that seed starting mix. And this is a mix that I actually made. It's my own recipe and I'll put a link up to that video if you want to learn how to or try making your own uh, seed starting mix. But that's what I will do throughout this whole tray. I just put them down and then just push them into the soil so they're all making nice contact. So now I'm just going to do the rest of this tray just like that. It'll take me a while. I'll put you on time lapse and then we'll go over to my greenhouse and I'll show you how I finish off this tray. All right, so we're here in my greenhouse, and I have, actually, funny thing, my greenhouse doesn't have a cover on it right now because it just ripped and blew away in the last storm we had. It was very windy, but I uh, still have all my stuff in here, so we're gonna use the greenhouse. And in this greenhouse, you see I haven't covered anything over these seeds yet. And I found that I've had the best germination with lettuce and everything else really that I've been growing, which is like kales and chards and broccolis, things like that, is when I just cover it very, very minimally and I no longer cover it with soil. I actually cover it now with this stuff, vermiculite. So I will come in here, get a scoop of this stuff. See, it kind of looks like sand this is a, I think it says it's a medium grade um, of vermiculite. It's very, very ground up. And sometimes you can get bags of these where there's big coarse pieces. I'm glad that I got this mix. Um, this um, coarseness is really nice for covering the seeds. So here I will show you all I, that I do. I just sprinkle a little bit on top. And I make sure that the seeds are covered. And then I just do a little bit on top. And I'll keep going and cover the whole tray like this.
So here's the finished product. This is your lettuce tray, gently covered with some medium grade vermiculite. What the vermiculite does is hold on to moisture really, really well. So it's really hot right now, and the vermiculite will help keep this, these are very tiny cells, this 200 cell tray. I don't often use this anymore. I have been doing soil blocks and I've been using my um, wind strip trays, but I only had a little bit of uh, soil mix left and I didn't have time to make another batch, but I had enough to fill one of these 200 cell trays and I needed 200 cells for my next row of lettuce. So this is what I used and these work really well. Um, the one thing I've noticed with these 200 cell trays is that they're only going to get so big because you could see these are very small, uh, not very wide, and, nar and they're narrow. So they're only going to get to a certain size before they get root bound. And you don't want these lettuce starts to get too root bound. They'll take, they'll still grow when you plant them in the ground, but they'll take longer. So you need to, it takes practice. You just have to know when the lettuce looks at a certain size that it needs to come out and go into the grounds. Um, and you'll have a very healthy plant. But no matter what kind of tray that you're using, you could use a like a 128 cell tray or a 72 cell tray, 50 cell tray, it doesn't matter. If you use this technique with just pr gently pressing the seed onto the soil and then covering with vermiculite, you'll really hold on to the moisture and it'll help these um, seeds germinate. I've also done this technique with perlite um, but, and that worked very well too. I just happen to like the vermiculite better. So as long as I can source the vermiculite, I'm gonna to continue to use it like this. So the last trick now to get your lettuce to germinate in very hot temperatures is it needs to be in a cooler place and a dark place. Let, the seeds need the darkness to germinate and lettuce can be finicky when it's hot, right? So we wanna put it in a spot um, that will give it a dark, cool chance to grow. And we are in a greenhouse, but right now my greenhouse doesn't have a roof on it. Like you said, I need to order, like I said, I need to order another uh, piece of plastic to cover this. But what I'm going to do, or what I think would work in a greenhouse scenario, is to put it as low to the ground as possible, because as you know, heat rises. So if we keep it down close to the ground, It'll have a darker, it'll be darker and it won't be as hot down closer to the floor. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I have this potting, um, tri um, potting table here and down below there's a little rack here and I am going to put this tray right down there. And there you go, it is down here. It is going to be out of any harsh heat or sunlight, even if it gets very hot. And as soon as this starts to show germination, we're gonna actually want to get it out of here and up on one of these racks where it will get sunlight. Because if you don't get it into the sunlight fast enough, you'll have leggy um, seedlings. And when they start out leggy, that means they're reaching for sunlight that they aren't getting enough of, so they need more sunlight. And if they start out too leggy, then that's not good and you might get a very unhealthy plant that might not even make it to transplanting into your garden. And that's all there is to germinating a seed of lettuce um, in the summer. Keep it cool and dark until it germinates and then give it some sunlight, but not too much sunlight during those um, baby leaf stages. Make sure it's watered uh, very frequently um, even once it germinates. Um, and that's going to wrap up this video. So if you found this video helpful, uh, give it a like, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.